Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever heard about different things about law school? Maybe you've been curious about going to law school. Maybe it's just something that has been on your mind here and there and you're just curious about it. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about misconceptions about law school, but I'm here to tell you about the truth. So before we get into this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I know the subscriber count has been going up. Thank you guys for supporting me. Um, remember to tell your friends about this video. If you are heading into law school or have other people that may be heading into law school, this should calm their nerves. So the very first misconception that you might have heard of is that you have to always dress professional. So this is something that actually crossed my mind as well before I started law school. I was wondering if we always had to be in suits or nice clothes that were dressy in case lawyers would show up that weren't faculty or something of that nature. And I'm here to tell you that you do not need to dress professional. I actually, before I started law school, I thought about it and I decided to look it up and I found information on it and somebody was joking around about how they even took a final in shorts and flip-flops. So it just goes to show you that you could pretty much wear anything you want. There is no like real restrictions. This isn't like high school or anything of that nature. It's more of a more college-ish, um, if you will. There will be times where you do need to dress up um, in my case, we had to dress up for the first week of orientation, so every day we had to be in suits and like nice clothes. There are moments where you obviously cannot wear anything you want, but for the most part, I would say 99% of the time you do get to wear what you want. Um, if there's like law school visitors and stuff like that, maybe you would want to dress up if you actually are going to meet with them. Um, but outside of that, not really a big deal. A note I would like to make on that is even though you do not have to dress professionally all the time, it does not mean that you get to act however you want. You do have to be a professional at all times. You do have to meet a certain set of standards which would be more acceptable in like the legal community for lawyers and stuff so you are held to a certain standard that would be different than maybe something you're familiar to. So the second misconception is something I was actually worried about before I was heading into law school. And this is, let's just say, nerdy people. You might have this idea that everyone's just quiet, everybody's in their books, nobody really talks, nobody really um, communicates in any way, hanging out or anything of that nature. Everybody's just like what you would um, expect like a stereotypical like nerdy type of student to be. And I'm here to tell you that that is pretty much not the case, I would say, whatsoever. Um, law students, for the most part, I would pretty much say everybody um, that was in my class. It was a very small class, so you basically had an idea of like how everybody was. And I wouldn't say anybody was like nerdy, per se. Everybody was like real people, if that makes sense. Everybody was talkative to a certain degree and whatnot. Um, they weren't this like very like quiet um, person that's just like in their books all the time and studying constantly. Obviously people aren't going to be like as outlandish as like high schoolers or um, maybe like college students who, you know, have this like stereotypical like wildness to them. Um, it is law school so everybody is at like a different standard to a certain degree so everybody's not maybe as playful as um, they would have been as college students or high schoolers but it doesn't really take away from anybody's like personality or anything like that it is a more serious atmosphere than everyone else would have been accustomed to previously but there are real people So the third misconception is partially true, partially not, um, so the competitiveness. So you might think that everybody is out for blood and everybody's just sharks and stuff. Nobody wants to help each other ever and everybody rides for themselves 
and everyone's self-centered, self-interested, willing to do anything it takes to beat the curve and outcompete all the students. This is not completely true. Um, definitely not to the extent I just listed right now. People are going to look out for themselves, but that does not mean that they won't look out for like people close to them or maybe even help out another student. During my first year personally, everybody was cool with everybody else. It was everybody was like meeting each other for the first time and stuff like that. And it was like that almost the entire year. There was a very competitive nature about it though. So I wouldn't say anybody was like out to get anyone else per se, but there was this feeling where it felt like people were looking out for themselves to maybe a higher degree than the rest of the law school years because during the first year there was a set curve where like a huge amount of people would get kicked out if they didn't meet this minimum gpa requirement by the end of the year so you could tell that there were a lot of students that were looking out for themselves at the end of the day because they needed to beat the curve and outcompete those who were going to eventually get kicked out so it was understandable to you know a certain degree for sure um, once second year and uh, 3L year rolled around, it was less like that. People were more likely to help each other. Everybody was kind of like more of a joint community, I would say. Um, everybody had their own little groups and stuff, but they weren't out to get anyone else or like as self-interested as one might have been in 1L year when they were trying to beat the curve and outcompete other students to make sure that their law school dreams would not end sooner than later. So the fourth misconception is that you will not have any free time. This is not necessarily true either because there will be free time, it just depends on how much time you need to understand the material. So this might be very different for one person to another. I know there are some people that would just take weekends off altogether and not do that bad at all. There would be other people that would go in seven days a week, make it happen, focus on their work and everything. Even those people would have time to um, have some time to themselves at least. They wouldn't be in their books 24 seven, even if it might be a large amount of hours, seven days a week. So it's not completely true that you're gonna be always focused in your books and like there will be no free time whatsoever. That will actually drain you out, so that's probably not going to be a good idea, even if you had the ability to put that many hours in in a week. So it's all about balance. You want to be able to handle your work, do everything you need to understand the material and memorize the material for test day. But it is also important to actually take a step back away from law school. It is very rigorous. Um, so you want to step back and get a breath of fresh air once in a while. Maybe your balance in college was maybe 60% do your stuff and 40% like have fun, party, hang out, um, spend time with family, friends, whatever. But in law school, it probably won't be to that extent. Maybe the balance would be like 80% work, 20% fun and play. Um, so the balance is obviously going to be different than maybe uh, past times in your life but you do need balance regardless it's not going to be a hundred percent work all the time you're just hitting the books that's not going to be good for you your health or anything of that nature is probably going to ruin your ability to be able to memorize stuff and actually like focus properly another point on that is that it's going to be different based on the student obviously if you're part of many organizations or um, stuff of that nature, then your law school experience might be very different than somebody that's not really doing as much. So the fifth misconception is something that I personally dealt with. So I went to UC Davis and it was a fairly difficult school, I would say. At least for me personally, dealing with TAs constantly um, who are grading like super hard all the time. So I thought because it was so difficult for me in college in terms of the way everything was graded with like such rigor, I thought that law school might actually be maybe a light advanced version of like my college experience or maybe like my college experience was like so difficult that law school would technically 
end up being easier than my college experience even though for the average person maybe their college experience was easier so law school would be so hard just like you always hear around that law school's hard law school's hard you have to be in your books all the time you're always reading so i basically thought that maybe my college experience would actually be harder than my law school experience and to tell you the least boy i was definitely wrong it's hard to actually compare law school to college because I feel like it's like two different ball games altogether. It's definitely hard to look at both of them in the same league whatsoever. I feel like law school is a million times harder than college um, and it takes much more dedication. So even if college was hard for you or maybe it was um, very time consuming and you were part of a lot of organizations and stuff, law school is definitely going to be harder than that. Um, for the most part and for most people um, So you definitely want to keep your head up when you go in you don't want to um, Underestimate how hard law school is going to be it might not necessarily be as hard as everybody makes it seem um, But it is going to be pretty hard that doesn't mean that if your college experience was like super difficult You shouldn't go to law school. I'm not saying that for if anything it probably built you up to be like the perfect beast to survive in law school um, under all the pressures and all the work that um, comes with it. So definitely go to law school if that's your mindset. So my sixth and final misconception is that law school takes brains and that's it. So that is partly true, but not to the extent everybody makes it seem you don't have to be some sort of genius to go into law school. You don't have to be some sort of genius to survive in law school. Um, as with almost everything, hard work does play a huge role. There is a lot of work and you will need to do it. Um, there's not many corners you could cut to make it through. You really do need to understand the material. And more importantly, you do need to understand how to apply that material actual fact patterns that will be given to you during test times and whatnot but it is not all brains brains does play a big part in it but it takes heart more than anything you you really need to want to be a lawyer to survive law school is not going to be easy so you need the heart to make it through you need to really want this because if you don't really want it then you're not gonna push yourself hard enough to get through law school push you to your like maximum limits constantly to survive law school so this is something that you really need to want um, you just don't go into law school um, some people do go into law school just for the degree so you know for them it's like a little bit different but even then you do need to have that much heart to actually want the degree um, for the average person in law school you're there just to become a lawyer at some point so it's like the degree plus passing the bar etc so you do need the heart to actually be there constantly have your mind on top of things understand everything or understand enough to get by at least um so it takes a lot of heart um there will be times that you might need to make a comeback in a class or what have you and all of that's gonna take heart you're gonna lose weekends you're gonna lose a lot of sleep lots and lots of sleep will actually be lost in law school that unfortunately is not a misconception so you will lose lots of sleep and for that reason you have to have a lot of heart to get through it that is all I have for you guys if I think of more misconceptions I'll let you know but I think those were like the big ticket items that crossed my mind um, when I was thinking about this video and also when I was entering law school and applying remember to share like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching